What's up, universe? Y'all know who it is. It's Brandy619. Um, I wanted to... I wanted to talk about... I probably don't know too much about it, but... Um, I'm from I'm from Dago, and not that long ago, um, it was a young man and his girlfriend that pulled over to help um, who what they thought was a stranded motorist. And when they did, um, the guy jumped out from the bushes or someplace weird, and shot the young brother, and killed him. And then he took off. And then the police later located him. But prior to that, he had come from allegedly trying to carjack somebody in um, in a neighborhood not that far away. Um, where the owners of the car came out, you know, and confronted him. And I guess he started, like, shooting, you know, started shooting or whatever. But then he... he got away or got away in the car or got away some kind of way whatever um so after that you know was when he encountered the young brother and 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 his girlfriend um on the freeway you know he had his car pulled over like like you know he needed some help or something this young man um was in the service young dude um who clearly just had a, a calling to serve. Um, and a lot of us that have callings to serve, for the most part, it's not something that um, we do for any particular other reason than uh, that's just kind of what we're led to do. You know, it's like embedded in us. Um, sometimes those things are learned and other times they're innate. They're natural. Um, they are part of your makeup, your DNA, who you are. Um, and in this case, you know, because he was in the military, um, because he pulled over to help someone who he thought needed help, I'm going to say to myself that this was in his DNA. This was kind of in his makeup. This had to be just who he is. Um, and so... You know, we kind of live in a time today where you, 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 you think twice about helping people. You know, the saying, no good deed goes unpunished. You know what I mean? Um, because not everybody has the same value. Not everybody has the same um, moral I don't even know if it's moral, you know, but everybody doesn't have the same fiber as you, you know. Um, people don't value other people anymore. They don't respect other people's beliefs or views or visions or opinions without, you know, making it seem like, you know, you're you're in their way or you need to be out of the way or something's wrong with you or something's wrong. Really, you know, it's hard to be, it's always been hard to be black in America, not to mention any other country, honestly, in the world. Um, you know, because the young man was black, it's always going to cause us to call in the question whether or not this was done because he was black. You know what I'm saying? I know do whoever it was was a hoodlum. He's a bum. But, and I'm not going to talk about his parents because some people, 
you know, turn out to be who they are. And for no, nothing that the parents have done, you know, the parents have really tried to, you know, show and instill certain things in these, in these people. And that's just not, you know, those things never really or fully resonate because it's not in their DNA. It's not who they are. You know what I'm saying? And it's probably never going to be who they are. Um, but I want to, I do want to say that my heart goes out to the young man's family and my heart goes out to, to, to both families, to be honest with you. But I do want to say that, and I know this is probably going to sound some kind of way, but for those people who were really brought here to help and to, and really brought here to truly make a difference and to really be on the service end of things, um, and to really stand in the gap for the rest of humanity, um, which is what I believe that this young man, his, his, his place and his role here was, um, on a, on a, on a deeper level, on a spiritual level, on a, and not, you know, religious spiritual level, you know, on a grander source level. Um, This probably was inevitable for this for for this young man. You know what I mean? Um, I think that is commendable to leave a leave a mark and leave a, you know a residue um, and leave this plane in this dimension and really ascend to a higher vibration while doing what you actually are called to do. This young man organically was, and he agreed to come here and to be of service to us and everyone around him. You know, energy never dies. So wherever he was in service, you know, that left you know, um, kind of like, a you know, that energy still permeated, that energy still, um, you know, spread itself throughout the universe, spread itself throughout, um, you know, it may it even probably changed, um, The energy probably changed or shifted what it looked like. It definitely um, transferred, you know, onto other people around him. So, again, energy never dies. So, as it transfers and it touches one person and that energy that, uh, and the person that that energy touches, that energy from the next person then touches another person and so on and so on and so on and so on. So, it never dies. It just transforms itself. Um but you know he he was doing exactly what he should have been doing you know he didn't die in the commission of taking anything from anyone he died in the commission of giving and i think that it's important that we try to be in a place where we're always giving of ourselves Sometimes even when we don't want to, you know, because that's like a sacrifice, a self-sacrifice. That's sacrificing your ego and sacrificing yourself for, you know, the greater good. Um, we don't always, sometimes we don't know, you know, by doing good that we're walking into the lion's den, you know. Or that we're walking into a snare or into a trap. But, you know, as long as your heart is pure, when you do whatever it is that you do,
I think that's what's most important. So my message is for all the people, you know, for all the light workers out here and for all the healers out here, um, because clearly he also was a healer or a light worker, one of the two. Um, and I think sometimes that healers and light workers go hand in hand. But I want to tell you guys, you know, it, it, when your calling is greater and not to even say that the young man that did this, that that wasn't even, you know what I mean? His, his, his purpose, you know, his purpose, because for me, it, um, you know, it wasn't just a tragedy for me that this young man lost his life that way, but it kind of was, um, like a, an eye opener. Because when you naturally just do what you're supposed to do, and it's out of love, pure, pure love, not standing or expecting to gain anything in return, and just giving fully of yourself, That may very well be, I don't know, I guess for me, that's like the best way to go. So for all of you light workers and you healers um, that take on so much when you're trying to help other people and it's taking pieces of you as you do it. And sometimes it takes all of you when you do it. <clears throat> don't stop doing it. Don't allow fear to hinder you or to quench, you know, your fire. <clears throat> um, be a stumbling. Don't allow it to be a stumbling block for you to not continue to heal and to do the work that you agreed and or called to do. There's all kinds of powers that be out here. There's all kinds of lower density beings out here that lie in wait in the cut and wait for the opportunity to pounce. You know what I'm saying? Wait for the opportunity to take what's not theirs. Wait for the opportunity to strip you, you know, of your joy and of your happiness. Like sometimes that's their goal. You know, a lot of times that's their goal, but you have to stand above and rise above that. You have to know that, you know, hey, this is just a, a place of passing, honestly. We just sit in these little meat suits for right now. You know what I mean? But, but this is really not our home. This is not really where we're from. You know what I'm saying? This is not really what, you know, we, we, we come here for a reason and for a season. And so make sure that you're doing what it is that you should be doing, that you agree to do. Um, and all that we agree to do is for a purpose and it's for a greater purpose, it's for a positive purpose, it's for, you know, um, sometimes we don't understand, you know, that's like, you know, when we see the young man, he shot him, he killed him. We don't understand why that happened. We don't understand why he did that. But there's, God knows. And nothing is ever coincidence. Everything is always for purpose. Whether that was for, you know, somebody in that young man's home to learn something or for the young man to learn something or someone connected to him or someone indirectly connected to them like someone just watching the news and just seeing it or you know what i'm saying there's always a purpose we don't always know exactly what it's for but there's always a purpose so you know yes 
I feel badly that the young man couldn't live out a long, a long full life. You know what I'm saying? Um, but he lived his life fully by fully committing to what he'd agreed to commit to. He followed up on his end of the bargain. And I commend that young man for that. So again, I just want to tell you guys, you know, whatever your calling is in service, continue to do that and to be that. Um, don't, don't let fear, don't let fear, um, because fear is not real. Fear is a perception. It's how you perceive something. So you can change. You can change any situation simply by changing the way you see it. You have the power to do that. So anyway, it's really time to, to really, you know, really raise those vibrations, keep raising your vibrations, keep working on it. You know, it's not something that happens overnight, you know, keep praying, keep fasting, you know, keep meditating on God's word. Keep asking that the doors are opened unto you. Keep asking, you know, keep seeking, you know. But don't just stay in this little tiny box, though, because there's so much more for you to, to receive. You know, and the divine is always willing to release more and more unto you, more and more for you to know and to understand, more and more for you to see, more and more for you to do. But you have to be willing. You have to truly have an open heart. And you have to also know how to sift. You have to know how to sift, you know, what's good and what's not. You know what I mean? And even some of the things that you think are not, you kind of just set them over here to the side. You compartmentalize things and you set things in certain places. And you never just throw it out. You just compartmentalize it and put it in certain places so that when you run across it again and you're a little bit more mature to understand a little better, then you can go back into that place and grab that up. And then you can begin to explore that so you can gain a better understanding about it. But anyway, yeah, guys, um, you know, you guys just keep, keep living. And if I ever, and when I go, you know what I'm saying? If I have to go, what seems or appears to be early, you know, um, I want to go doing, doing something great. I want to go, you know, helping somebody giving fully of myself. Um, because nothing that we do here should be for self, honestly. I mean, of course, we have bills and things to pay. Um, but even those things, you know, yeah, we do it for ourselves. But if we have families and things like that, we, we do things. We get up and go and we make it about our family. The reason that pushes the things that pushes us every day to get up and go do the things that we don't want to do. You know what I'm saying? So always give up yourself freely. Yeah, I'll, I'll touch on that a later date. But um, I know that probably got too heavy for this morning, but and that really wasn't even where I was intending to go with it, I don't even think. 
Um, but I did say to myself, yo, this is noteworthy and this is something that I do need to talk about because I'm sure that it hit me probably a little differently than it's hitting the rest of the world. You know, the rest of the world or, you know, people in my city or his family is probably really up in arms about the situation. And and I could be too, but I just see it a little differently. So anyway, you guys, good morning. Um, go about your day, not in fear and, um, Yeah, that young man gave so much. He gave his he gave his life. He gave his life. That's how much he was willing to give of himself. You know, <clears throat> in the natural self, you would be like, no, you know, I'm not ready to go. It's not time yet. It's not time yet. You know, um, and I wasn't there. I don't know the circumstances. Um, But I'm sure his subconscious self knew the purpose or the plan that would stem from this. So, yeah, anyway guys just go out and enjoy yourself continue to heal continue to help continue to bless continue to love on people whether they do those things for you or not um you know don't do it really looking for anything in return just do it knowing that you know you're you're transferring um you know divine energy you're transferring love above all things so yeah guys i gotta go anyway i love y'all enjoy y'all day